what's up everyone, my name is Biku and um, maybe in some of my other videos you would have heard me talk about this. I am building another 3D printer, uh, sort of along the same lines as my first 3D printer, although now that I have an awesome 3D printer and a CNC mold, um, I'm going to make it a lot better. It, it isn't for me, admittedly, it's for a friend. Um, after I built mine, and then this one, uh, he kind of said he wanted one, and because I still had a lot of the old, a lot of the parts from my old printer, being the ramps board, as you can see over there, I'm not going to focus, uh, the ramps board and motors and uh, the bearings and the rods and all that. I uh, said so I'd give that to him. He just need he just needed to pay the rest, which he did. Now I need to hold up my end of the bargain. It's been quite a while. And so what I'm going to do is I need to 3D print some parts just to test out and make sure that it's going to work. Basically, what these parts are, and you're not going to be able to see it very well, but what these uh, rods attach to on there, it's bars that they're then threaded into with solder around to keep it in place. Anyway. I'm going to try a little bit of a different design for this printer where I'm just going to use plastic pieces with threaded rods. I'm still going to use those rose joints, ball joints, rod ends, whatever you call them, uh, just into plastic. And it should be rigid enough. I'm using PLA. And yes, it is going to be on the hot end. But uh, I'm going to be using this stuff for the end effector. This is... Um, Phenol fiber, phenol fiber. Yeah, it's basically a glass fiber mat. Sorry, garage door made a noise. Basically, a glass fiber mat that's been um, trapped in phenolic resin, and it is incredibly hard, incredibly temperature resistant. So the hot end isn't going to get that hot, which is a good thing. Oh no, sorry. The uh, part where it's cooling isn't going to get that hot since it's going to be stiff. Anyway, I'll tell you about that just now. So right now, I need to print that part. It's a small part. It's going to take about 13 minutes. So I need to um, because I've been running the CNC the past couple of days. It's a little bit dusty and dirty, so I need to make sure that it's clean, or the bed is clean. Then basically just do really. So, time lapse, engage. Quick side notes. Uh, I've been printing with ABS for basically the whole time I've had the old printer and up until very recently. Swap to PLA now. It takes so much quicker to heat up to 60 degrees instead of 100. That's awesome. I still do need to put a pot cooling fan on it, which is coming eventually. So yeah. Again, breaking time lapse one more time. I'm using a, a Ripco Discount full graphic smart display or full graph, whatever you call it. It's the big one. I've noticed with the smoothie board. Oh no, so it's not a smoothie board. It's a. I'm doing it plane. It's a MKS S base. And sometimes the screen loses track of itself, kind of. So it jumps all the way over. Kind of gets a bit annoying, so I can't really like watch it without it jumping over. I don't know why. I don't know if that's something to do with the cables or just if that's a problem with this board or smoothie way in general. But I need to upgrade to a touch controller. But at least now I can control it without my laptop. I don't think I have the um, the settings tuned in quite right for PLA because it's 
this isn't this piece that's printed right now isn't going to be a usable piece. I'll show you when it's done. Okay, Twitter, lol. So, I don't think I quite have the settings tuned in for PLA yet. Uh, I mean, you can see the hole, holes where it mounts, but that's about it. So, on to plan two. Swap out to ABS and print slower. No. If any of you are thinking about building a one meter tall delta, I'm about to show you how I have to change the filaments. Okay, I need to go get a glue stick to apply glue for ABS, because ABS. I'll be right back. Okay, can't find glue. I've got ABS dissolved in acetone. That will have to work. Pray for me. So I've got a thin layer of this stuff on. You don't really want a very thick layer because it will mess up the geometry of your printer and how high and stuff. So hopefully that'll work. I don't even know if you can hear me right now. I should be able to. I'm sorry if the quality of the audio is kind of poopy. I don't know whether it's recording on, from the webcam or the computer. The webcam sounds okay. I have no idea how the computer sounds. Um, so yeah. Uh, I need to... Uh, how am I going to do this? Okay. I'm going to stop recording quickly so that I can transfer the files over since doesn't really like uh, with Smoothieware, you can't really use an SD card when well, you can, but it's not recommended because of some things. And yeah, so you have to copy it over to the on or the micro SD card that plugs into the board. Anyway, okay, so I just checked the mic quality and it's kinda shitty. Sorry, can't really do anything about that. I don't have a good mic. So, sorry, <laughs> I'll try and clean it up in editing, maybe, kind of, I hope, anyway. Okay, now uh, we need to wait for it to heat up, but because it's ABS, it's got to take longer, because we're just going to go up to like 100 degrees, yay. Uh, yeah, I am using, uh, again, I haven't seen anyone do this, but I'm using just plain polycarbonate for the heated bed. And uh, it's good up to about 100 degrees. You wouldn't want to go much beyond that. But, and granted, I haven't personally had a lot of experience with PEI, but I know people who have tested both PEI and polycarbonates, and I've seen it. Polycarbonate and PEI are very similar in terms of how well they stick to, and how of how well plastic sticks to it. Uh, granted, when I tried printing just ABS with nothing on, um, with nothing on the polycarbonate, it did warp a little bit, but not as much as if it was just like plain ABS or, or like ABS on bare glass. Otherwise, you would never have gotten that to stick. So, yeah. I'm happy with it, and it's a fuck ton cheaper than PEI. Or oh, and uh, if you didn't know, PEI, PEI, poly, poly, 
And no, 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 sorry, it's polytheramide. It's PEI, polytheramide, I believe. It is very similar. Basically, PEI is a budget alternative to PEEK, P-E-E-K, which is, uh, again, it's an industrial plastic. PEI is about, uh, I don't think in dollars now, I don't think in dollars. It's about $20, I think, for like a, I don't know, 30 centimeter by 30 centimeter, 12 inch by 12 inch um, thing, and about a millimeter to two millimeters thick. Peak would be about $200 or $300 for the same piece. So yeah, and polycarbonate, that was like 50 rand, which is like $2, I think, for that. And it's been working perfectly. Uh, I don't know how well you'd be able to see it, but you'll see underneath it's almost like a uh, it's almost like a, a gold color that is uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Yeah. Uh, it is copper grease meant for brakes, like putting on your brakes so that they don't squeak. Obviously not on the side that it contacts the uh, brake list, but on the other side so that they don't speak. It's that. I mean, yeah. And then I've just got some of this stuff taping it down. It is uh, very thermal, high temperature tape. It's like a glass fiber weave. I don't know if you'll be able to see very well. It's like it's got like a gloss fiber mesh in there and it's very hot temp. It's, it's temperature is just up to like 500 degrees Celsius. Or I've tested it up to 450. I don't know how much beyond that it can go. I believe it's about 500. And I'm just rambling, sorry. 88 degrees on the bed. Good old ABS. Oh yeah, the bed is nice and toasty. Oh, funny story about the bed actually. Uh, I was using this piece of polycarbonate. Um, but I wanted to just grind the surface down on the bed a little bit more just to make it a little bit better. I had to take this off, but it is it was stuck down with, um, with uh, some 3M adhesive. And my god, it stuck. Like, probably took me about half an hour to rip this off. And then I had to go over the bed with acetone to remove all this stuff with a scraper and a brush, which the brush is now fucked. Where's the brush? Uh, where'd the brush go? They, I, le I left this sitting in acetone for like a day and you can see there's still that fucking shit in it. It's disgusting. So yeah, I decided to go for a little bit less permanent option. Although this stuff is awesome. Ninety-six degrees. Yeah. Uh, if you haven't seen my other video where I do a tour of my printer, and if you're curious as to how the bed is heated, it is a silicon heater, uh, not an AC one, a DC one, um, powered by over a relay, not a solid state relay. I know you should use a solid state relay. They're fucking expensive, but we've just got a automotive relay good for up to, I think, 50 amps, 60 amps. Uh, yeah, 50, 50 amps. And um, it is powered by a 600 watt, 12 volt single rail power supply, meaning that the power supply that the power supply can deliver up to 30, some 37 amps 
almost 40 amps on the 12 volt rail. That power supply, and it was not cheap. Fuck that power supply was not cheap. But it's worth it. It's worth it. I should have got a DC, I mean, uh, 220 volt AC max, I know, but. Okay. Okay, hot end is heating up now. Nice and roasted horse, eh? Where'd my pliers go? I lost my pliers. Fuck. I don't know how long this video is gonna be. And I'm planning on making quite a few of these now that I have the webcam set up. Which, if you haven't seen the video on how I made the mount for that, it's, it's a simple fucking mount that just went over with the CNC. Where'd my finger? Oh, I'll just make another one. And you know, I've also slowed this down quite a lot, so it's not going nearly as fast. Not that it was going fast last time, it was such a small piece with the plastic, but I haven't really got that well set up yet, it was going pretty fast. Just about everything on this printer is a funny story. Yeah. Well, chances are it's still going to need a little bit of cleanup, but hopefully it'll come out better than the other one. Came out a little bit better. Uh, still not brilliant. And as I was pulling it off, because I used a broom, popped off a bit over there, which is not ideal. Because I do need this to be very accurate. Uh, and I wanted it to print it going up like that because I want it to be strongest in the direction that I'm going to be threading it because I'm going to be tapping and threading an M3 screw into this. And this is just a starting M3 tap. Yeah, no. This is a problem with ABS, and I, I, because uh, ABS shrinks, I made this two points, what did I make it, 2.6, I think, which is the correct size for an M3 tap, but because ABS shrinks, this is probably more like two millimeters. Uh, some rethinking is necessary for this. Because I don't want to cut out the effector, the little triangle piece that goes in the middle. I don't want to cut that out before I know how I'm going to mount the bars. Some more thinking is necessary. But anyway, that is it for this video, I guess. Uh, I tried to get some stuff done. I think. See, I don't want to use the same... Mm. What I was going to do was um, what was I going to do? Uh, what I was going to do was print out you know, some joints and then do the whole thing 3D printed. But I printed on a universal joint that I designed myself. It worked, but I'm not happy with... Um, I think there's going to be too much slop. So 
I don't want to use that. I want to use the rows, ball, and whatever you call it, the ball joint things. I want to use those, but I don't want the way I connect it to be as complicated as how I did it on this machine, because it was way too complicated for what it needed to be. It works, but it was too complicated. Um, Okay, I'm going to do some research and look at pictures of Delta machines and come up with some ideas. So, uh, yeah, that is it for this video. I have no idea how long it's going to be, because I'm going to do quite a lot of time-lapse and stuff. But uh, yeah, you actually got to see my 3D printer running in a time-lapse type thing, I guess. So uh, that's it for this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed, and goodbye. Side note, the white one looks like, if I can frame, ah, the white one looks like shit. So bad. The black one doesn't look great either, but it looks better. <laughs>